Yes, people. What are we saying? It's Brad. Um, this vlog is going to be about um, how to stay positive uh, within quarantine. Yeah, quarantine's a bit peak at the minute. I can't lie. Um, so my situation: well, barber, uh, self-employed barber, have been for years now. Literally, I think two, three, no, three weeks now. Um, and I've not been able to work and obviously being self-isolated at home can't, can't make any money <laughs> just long struggling to pay bills I'll be honest, I'll be real um, I can't even see my missus I've been with my missus for however long now uh, I can't see her at all because obviously you got to abide by these rules the quicker we do this, the quicker we all get out we can do our own thing got to really take this shit seriously, it's, it's quite bad, isn't it? This video is basically like a remedy for you guys. Um, it's basically things that I found that have worked out throughout quarantine and made things ten times easier for me to, you know, get past any social demons or mental issues or whatever. Because, um, actually, to be fair, I, I, I do suffer from anxiety quite a bit. Uh, it's one of these things that everyone has nowadays. There's many things to blame for it, but that's another video. What I found works for me, um, number one, I found that staying fit, healthy, and actually having a focus on like staying fit and healthy, rather than just saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna be fit and healthy, I'm gonna, gonna go and eat a salad today, and go for a run, go for a bike ride, Make deal with it. even if you don't have any weights because I don't have weights at home. We have like some some crap in the garage. That, like the other day, I was lifting up like a bike as like bicep curls. Like it's not ridiculously heavy and it's not stupidly light. Like it's just that happy medium. But it's something rather than nothing. Making use of outdoors. Uh, I live in the UK right now. I live in Milton Keynes, and I mean, you can't see right now, but it's beautiful outside. So nice. Yeah, uh, because the weather's so nice outside. Um, I think using your garden to full ability. If you haven't got a garden, I'm sorry. Uh, even if you're not doing anything, say like like now after this, I'll video this and I'll edit and I'll edit outside. It's not the best for lighting and stuff like that because you get too much glare. But you know what? That that positive mindset of just being outside rather than cooped up in the house. Find a new hobby. I have never ever 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 thought about doing YouTube videos up until probably like the last couple months. And I thought, you know what, now is <laughs> no excuse to not do it now. I've got all the time in the world. I thought I'd give it a go. So it's not just, you know, starting up YouTube videos. I've, I've tried to uh, study YouTube algorithms. Um, I've, I've tried to study YouTube in general, really, and, and what works and what's successful and how people are successful. This, I think, is key. I think if you're going to learn something new, there's no point of half-assing it. If you're going to do it, do it. Fully, fully pursue it. Um, got 100% in. I do research on stuff like this as well. Like, I'm not saying to go start up a YouTube channel because that's obviously that's not what everyone wants to do. But uh, for me, I think if you're going to start something, don't just half-ass it. You've got the time now. You use the facilities that you've got to hand, like your laptops, your internet, whatever, on your phone. Um, start up something new. Google something like how to, I don't know, start a new hobby or what hobbies to start in quarantine. Things like this. Like just be positive. Be proactive in it. Actually, go out and do something about it, rather than just sitting at home thinking, oh, "Fuck, I wish I could be at work." Like, because that's just the worst. You start getting all negative and all that sort of stuff, and you're just gonna bring yourself down. Learn something new. Uh, that goes on to my last point about um, a YouTube. A YouTube, technically, starting up a YouTube channel is not a hobby, um, but it's learning something new. You know, like. Like I said, like, I've been learning about algorithms, that's nuts. People who know me know I'm not clever at all. But an algorithm, the more you study it, the, the easier you can sort of work it out. Set goals would be my next thing. Make sure that, you know, every day you're setting a goal for that day. I feel like mentally, if you set a goal for each day and you tick it off, actually write it down. Don't just set a goal as in like tell yourself something. Make sure you set a goal, write it down, and then at the end of the day, if you've done it, then tick it off. I think that's really that like, satisfying. Like for example, for me today, I'm gonna um, clear out my wardrobe. I don't want to do it. It's being productive because if I don't do that, then what else am I gonna do? Just sit and play PlayStation. There's only so much you can do that. I can't lie. It does get boring. As much as I do like it, I won't lie, it gets boring. 
is the biggest one. The biggest one of them all is take time with family, with friends, constantly checking up on people. A message here, there and everywhere doesn't hurt, do you know what I mean? It takes two minutes. Like, say for example, now more than ever, I'll just start randomly talking to my mates. I never really used to do that because I work six days a week normally. So I don't really have the time really to, to be messaging people. I'm always on the go, I'm always working. So now more than ever, I am um, checking up on people more than anything because everyone else is in the same boat as me. It's good to just to check up, just say like, yo, like what are you doing? What are you doing today? What's your plans for today? Little bits and bobs, give them a FaceTime. You'd be surprised how, how much that'll cheer someone up in a day. Because it's all depressing times, isn't it? Like everyone's going through the same stuff. So be proactive, be nice, just be that guy that's trying to reach out to everyone. That's, me, that's what I'm trying to do at the minute. Obviously you can't reach out to everyone. I don't really want to reach out to everyone, but there's certain people, you know, you've got like your inner friends and then you've got your family. Those sort of people, I wouldn't say to just go and message random people, that's nuts. Um, but definitely, definitely, definitely go and message like your mates, family, or your uncles, your aunties, whatever. Um, definitely just give them a message and see what their situation is. Just talk to them. You've, you've got plenty of time to talk anyway. Find jobs around the house, you know. Find jobs around the house. There's plenty of jobs to be done. When you think you've done everything, you are a liar because there is bare to do. Like today, well actually no, yesterday I cleaned my room, today I'm gonna do my wardrobe. And then you've got to think about other things. You've got so many things to do. Say for instance, outside in our garden, we have like patio. The other day I had to clean the patio. Then you've got to cut the grass. Then you've got to do everything in the, in the sheds. It's long, there's so much to do and spread it out. Spread it out, don't just do everything on one day because then you'll have nothing to do for the next day. If you schedule things out, like I said before in the plan, plan yourself every day for a week, just for that seven days or whatever. Have a, have a chill day though, don't have yourself on every single day because otherwise you'll just knack yourself out. Yeah, definitely, definitely try and be proactive. But what I'm trying to basically do here is to be relatable to everyone. I know that obviously quite a lot of my friends have been furlonged. If you're furlonged, um, don't use this as a um, holiday as such. Um, use it as just a time to reflect. Uh, it might sound deeper, <laughs> but honestly, use this time to reflect and uh, use this time to be productive because it's just one of those, it's, it's very unprecedented. Um, this probably won't happen again, well, fingers crossed. It's not a holiday, you can't go anywhere, it's simple as that, so look out for others. Like I am, um, like obviously with my situation, my situation is that I won't get any money now until June. That's gonna affect me big time. I've got lots of things to pay for. I've just bought a house with my missus. That's gonna be delayed now. My next point, um, start your day positive. Just think about time investment more than anything else. I feel like if you get up at, if you get up early, um, you go for a run or go for a, even just get up and walk around the garden in the morning. Like you just start a bit more positive to you know get get the juices flowing and and you actually probably will be nine times out of ten a lot more productive in the day. This is something that I've been doing for a while now. You do feel a lot better about yourself rather than you know like when you wake up and say on your day off or whatever on a, on a Saturday or a Sunday and you're staying in bed and, and you feel still tired, even at like midday. It's because you haven't done anything yet, and I feel like you need to wake up your body, you need to wake up your mind, go outside in the morning, do something, walk around the garden or go for a run. It's a lot cooler in the mornings. Right now we're in summer, so it is gonna be a lot cooler. Definitely a lot less busy as well, because everyone seems to be walking their dogs and stuff at the minute. Trust me, you'll see the benefits. I see the benefits literally every day when I do this. So my next point, um, use social media actively, not passively. You're probably thinking, well, what does that mean? Well, social media for me, I feel like constantly I'm always just on social media, flicking through, flicking through anything. That is passively. You're flicking through, you're not actually interacting with anyone or anything. All you're doing is literally just looking at what everyone, everyone else is up to. This is not what you want to be doing in a time like this. You want to be active. You want to be interacting with others. Social interaction will be ridiculously beneficial for you. Um, social interaction is always good. Um, it keeps you positive, 
keeps you entertained. Um, little things like, say for example, right now TikTok is a massive thing. Even if you just do the videos from home and you don't post them, it, it's something keeping you entertained. Like this is a really good thing for people um, in this time of need uh, to to basically have that social interaction with anyone else. Because obviously at the minute you can't go and talk to someone, you can't go and link up with someone and, and go and chill or whatever because you've got to keep this social distancing. It's a real thing, you've got to abide by it. Without talking and meeting with people, you can do that on social media through just having a laugh if more than anything else. Like honestly, I think that's probably, you're better off doing that. Right, so I'm signing out. Um, I hope everyone thought this video was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Please, if you haven't already subscribed to me, you don't miss videos, because uh, I am going to be releasing constant content. I have been Brad Taylor. Thank you for watching. I'm signing over and out.